just going 10 feet to my left. So we're excited about the pitching matchup. I would assume the Yankees and Aaron Boone are as well. Well, Aaron Boone is excited to have Garrett Cole on the mound, and rightfully so. Anytime I speak to anyone in that clubhouse, they'll tell you there is a different feel when Garrett Cole is on the mound. They know they only need a run or two, and Garrett Cole, more times than not, will just go to work. Uh, today could be a little different with Bieber. Of course, they want to face the best. You want the best competition. But Aaron Boone did say, I don't love that the ace is on the mound for the other team, but certainly something they will have to deal with and I spoke to Jamison Tyone earlier today and he spoke a little bit about this pitching matchup. I'm really excited. Um, you know Bieber is one of the guys that I changed my mechanics and I had watched him throw a lot over the past couple of years and even before he really broke out I was a fan of the way he threw the ball. Um, so he was kind of an inspiration for what I did with my mechanics. There were a few guys around the league that I had watched and said like man that looks really efficient really clean. So I'm a fan of him from across the way, and then obviously just watching Garrett work, um, you know, he brings it every time. He's super prepared. Every time he takes them out, you know he's ready to go. So I'm excited. Hopefully we can scratch a few, um, you know, off Bieber early, and, and Garrett can get in a groove. And Jamison Tyone will get the ball tomorrow. Tomorrow, He spoke a lot about the progress he made last start, about using that curveball a little bit more early on and elevating the fastball. He'd like to build on that. And then on Monday, it looks as though it could be Davey Garcia. Aaron Boone said he's not 100% committed to that right now. But depending on what happens over the next two games, their intent is to start Davey Garcia. But as we know in baseball, crazy things can happen, Rob. Meredith, with Cole on the mound, I don't think any of us are surprised that it's Higashioka behind the plate again. Those two have worked so well together. In your conversations with Yankee personnel, what is it about that pairing that allows Cole to be so successful? You know what? It just seems as though it came together last year and Cole felt comfortable and started getting comfortable when Higashioka was catching. It wasn't necessarily something that Aaron Boone had planned and planned moving forward, but we see every time that Garrett Cole is throwing to Kyle Higashioka, it just seems like he gets in that perfect rhythm. And on top of that, they may lean on Kyle Higashioka a little bit more, not just for Garrett Cole's starts, considering the way he has played. He's always provided good defense, calls a good game, but now you're seeing, and you saw it at the end of last year too, offensively it seems as though he has really made some strides. And yeah. I spoke to hitting coach Marcus Timms yesterday, and he said it is confidence more than anything else. He had a conversation with Kyle Higashioka and said, you need to prepare in the batter's box like you prepare for hitters on the other side. And it was something that really resonated with Kyle Higashioka, and now he's doing double the preparation and putting just as much time in to ensure that he's ready when he steps into that batter's box. And Higashioka himself admits the confidence is there and he enjoys it when he gets to the plate. And when you hit a couple home runs, Bob, why wouldn't <laughs> right. you? And he had, what, a homer and a double two nights ago? Yeah. Really helped him get the ball rolling in Cleveland. You mentioned the offense earlier, how it's trending up. One trend they would probably hope that continues, four home runs in last night's ball game, including two scorched ones off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. And as Boone put it, it just sounds a little different when John Carlos Stanton hits the ball. And I think everybody uh, in that dugout would admit that it has a certain pop to it off the bat. But John Carlos Stanton said after the game, look, it was just nice to catch up to a fastball, barrel it up, something he hasn't done in a while. And Marcus Timms actually had a conversation with him as well. And Stanton said his biggest issue was when you're dealing with a game that more often than not you fail and you come up with a plan, it doesn't work a couple times and then you change it. You come up with a new plan and then you change it. And the conversation really was you need to stick to a plan, commit to a plan, and really ride it out and continue to stay aggressive in that strike zone waiting for your pitch. And that's something we saw him do last night. The Yankees certainly wouldn't complain if he keeps that approach and keeps the home runs coming. One final thing. Rugnit Odor had a home run in last night's ball game too. What kind of an impact has he had on the team? Energy. Anyone you ask about him, one of the first things they mention energy. He provides a tremendous amount of excitement. Aaron Boone mentioned today that he plays the game with a joy and it's not just what's happening on the field. He can be an asset on the field, especially if he hits like he did last night. But I think it's some of the intangibles off the field that maybe loosen this group up a little bit, maybe something they didn't have prior to him joining the team.